Alright, what is up guys, Flare here, and I'm finally back with another tutorial. Um, this one is going to be on this RGB blast effect that everyone's been asking me how to do in Sony Vegas. Everybody thinks that you have to use After Effects to do it, and people have even been coming to me asking what plugins in After Effects I used to do it, when really all you need is Sony Vegas and Magic Bullet looks, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys it for those who haven't actually seen the edit itself. Um, it's gonna be on the first shot, so just pay attention to where he first shoots and you'll see it. Not the second effect, but as you can see, it's kind of like a 3D, kind of like it's shooting blurred lines out and it's kind of 3D. Um, I found this a while ago, I, maybe a couple months ago I actually started doing it in some of my older edits, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Sorry I don't have the song on my computer anymore, so I can't actually show you it with the sync and stuff, so I'm just going to be showing you the regular effect. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is drag your clip down into the timeline, and go ahead and disable resample. I'm just going to remind you to do this now. Because a lot of times I'll forget to tell you and then you guys won't disable resamples for that's for some of you who are new to editing. I'm sure everyone that's experienced remembers to do it all the time. Well at least I know I do. Um the next thing you're gonna do is find where he shot or where you want the effect. Because you can do this more subtle if you want to do it on the screen pump, but I prefer to do it on just a shot. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is put a marker where you want the shot to start and then click uh, the video layer so you don't have it on the audio and click on the video layer and click S on your keyboard to split it and then you can go down to where you want it to end I had mine end around right here and then you can just click S again and put another marker so you know where it ends and stuff alright now the first thing you want to do is go one frame forward. you're gonna want to click on this marker and then go one frame forward the reason you're gonna want to go one frame forward is for some reason in Vegas when you try to open magic bullet looks when you're actually on a split it won't open it I don't know why it's been like this since Vegas 11 but anyways just go one frame forward and go to video effects and add magic bullet looks now I have a ton of video effects so let me find it real fast there it is. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Alright, I have a preset for this, but I'm gonna show you guys how to actually do it in Magic Bullet Looks. Um, so let's go ahead and just... My CC names are pretty creative, by the way, as you guys can tell. But we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. By the way, if this is lagging just a tiny bit for you, I'm sorry. Um, it's just OBS. It's just a little tiny bit laggy, but it's really good, though. Um, so click Edit, and... Then just wait a second for your frame to load. I already had the application open, so that's why mine loaded so fast. Yours might be a little slower. Um, but anyways, put on chromatic aberration and put it in lens. Don't put it in subject. Make sure you drop it in lens. And then you're going to want to turn red cyan up to, I like to do plus 10. A lot of people like to do a little bit higher than that, but I don't think it looks that good. Um, so you're going to want to turn this up to plus, the highest I would go is plus 10. You might want to go a little bit higher if you... Like, like the way it looks. I just want to go plus 10 because I don't want to overdo it. Um, I guess that's good right there. Uh, okay. uh, right there. Alright, so then turn blue and yellow um, actually down to minus 10. Or somewhere, just somewhere around there. And there you go. And you have that. And now you can go ahead and click finish. Not click, but you can click it. Um, and you're going to want to click animate right here. And it'll open it so you can keyframe it. And then you have it. So then you can go to the end of your actual effect itself. And click edit again. And then when it loads the frame, which will take a second. There you go. Um, then you click chromatic aberration again. And just reset this to zero. You can do that by double clicking it and just entering zero. Or you can drag it to zero. But double clicking is a lot faster. So let me just... Alright, and then you can click finished again, and now you have the actual 3D effect, but there's one more thing, and what you're going to do next is go to video effects and actually go down to radio blur, and I do have a preset for this one that you guys can just copy off the screen. Um, what you're going to want to do is just copy these settings here, make sure you animate it again, um, and for the first frame, set it to between 1.5 and 2 you don't want to do it much higher than that or it's gonna not actually 1.5 excuse me 0.190 because you're, you're gonna want to you're not gonna want this to look too strong and click animate which is a little clock right here and go to the end and then just drag it back to zero 
and then you'll have a pretty nice effect. Uh, I'm gonna RAM preview it for you guys, so you can see what it's gonna look like. That might take a second. Oh, it actually looks like it's gonna go pretty fast. It might be a little bit laggy for you guys, because I am recording my screen. Um, but yeah, you guys should actually be able to see what the effect looks like, and it looks pretty good. I actually really like editing this clip, too. Uh, but yeah, let's just wait for this to work. Right, so as you guys can tell, we're actually done RAM previewing. And uh, one more thing, for those of you who don't actually know how to RAM preview in Vegas, all you have to do is highlight the part um, that you want to preview, and then just click Shift and B at the same time, and it'll play it through. So then you can watch it without it lagging at all in full quality. The more plugins that you have, the longer it's going to take, or the worse, you know, the worse the computer that you have is going to take a little bit longer. So anyways, let's go back and watch this and see how it looks. Hopefully that's not too loud. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you're going to have that. Um, sorry if the audio is pretty loud. But yeah. Um, it looks really good in fast-paced, slow. It looks good a lot. It looks good in a lot of different styles. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial today. If you do want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Let me know also what you want to see. Um, I'll probably do some more basic tutorials for some people who are actually just starting to edit. But yeah, that's been pretty much it for today. Uh, this has been Flair, and I'm out. Peace.